All right, what you're looking at here is the Compact 5800 Shrink Wrap Machine. This particular machine features things such as an integrated shrink tunnel, an L-bar sealer, and has a very easy to use interface that features things such as an adjustable temperature and adjustable times for both the sealer and the fan. This particular machine is designed for mid-volume use and is really great for just about any shrink wrap project. There are many things you're going to want to take into consideration before purchasing your shrink wrap machine, such as the size. This particular machine is 34 inches wide by 53 inches long by 52 inches high. So you're going to want to make sure that you have enough room in your office, home, or business for the machine. Another thing you're going to want to take into consideration is the setup. Now this machine, when it ships, does not include the legs. So you're going to need a couple of people to pull the machine out of the box and another person to install the legs so they can get it all set up. Now this machine, the Compact 5800, is very easy to move around because it actually sits on casters and allows this machine to be moved around very easily. Although it is a fairly heavy machine, you'll notice that as I push it, it slides on those casters very easily which allows you to move it from one location to another for storage or from one room to another for various projects. There isn't a lot that's needed as far as installation. You're not going to need to be hooking the control panel together. Um, you will need to attach wire to the power supply. This is a single phase 220 volt machine. Another thing you're going to want to take into consideration is that it is about 338 pounds crated and shipped. Now the machine itself doesn't weigh that much, but you're going to want to remember that it is going to ship by truck and that the box will weigh a little bit. Several adjustments can be made to the tray in here, depending on the size of the product you're going to be shrink wrapping. If it's a product that's very slim, you could actually raise it all the way up to the highest mark here. If it's an item that needs a little extra depth, you can lower it all the way down. Now the Compact 5800 can be used to shrink wrap a variety of products, such as hardware and software boxes, DVDs, CDs, and a wide variety of products. Now you'll notice by looking at this that there's a lot of room in here. The machine itself it actually can handle products 18 inches wide by 22 inches long. So you really have a lot of room to work with in here. One nice thing about this machine is that it does have an integrated tunnel. It has a heating element inside which heats up the inside of the tunnel and it has a fan which blows the air around the product, shrinking the film. As you bring the hood of the machine down, it will actually activate this heating element in here which cuts the film. Another thing I like about this machine is that it has a magnet that will hold the hood down just long enough to cut the film and shrink it. Let me show you. So the magnet's now been enabled. Once it's done, it releases the hood and it goes back into an upright position and you're ready to enter the next product into the machine. What you're looking at here is the control panel. Uh, you have a very easy to use on-off switch for the power supply. Right here you have a timer that you can adjust for the actual heating element that cuts the film. That can be adjusted between 0 and 1.2 seconds. Just depends on the type of film you're using, the thickness, the material that you're actually shrinking. That will determine the amount of time that you adjust that. To the right of that you have the electromagnetic timer and this allows you to adjust the amount of time that, that hood is held down by the magnet. It is adjustable from 0 to 12 seconds. Now below that we have an on-off switch for the fan if you prefer just to cut the film and not shrink it, you can turn that fan off. Or if you want to do the entire shrink wrap process by cutting and shrinking the film, you're going to want that fan to be turned on. And right next to that, we have the temperature gauge. This allows you to adjust the temperature. Right here, you have a light that will light orange as the heating element is warming up. Once it is at the temperature needed, the light will turn off, and you know that you're ready to start shrink wrapping. It doesn't take long for the heating element to heat up. Uh, just a matter of, I'd say, about 10 to 15 minutes. And depending on the material, whether it be polyolefin or PVC, or the thickness of the film, the gauge, you will want to adjust that accordingly. Now, the light will light orange as the heating element is warming up, and as soon as it's at the desired temperature, the light will turn off. Okay, right here you have the feed bar, which is where you actually install the roll of shrink wrap film you'll be using. There are a couple of brackets here that hold the shrink film firmly in place. They can be loosened and adjusted to accommodate the size of film that you'll be using. As you can see here, there's plenty of room to put a wider roll on here. Up here, you'll notice that there is a perforating wheel. There are actually two of them. I'm only using one because of the size of the film I'm using. If it were wider, if I were using up this entire bar, I'd probably want to use both of the perforating wheels. When you install the shrink film, you'll actually need to weave it up through the perforating 
wheels and slide it over the top of the machine before you start using it. This particular film here is centerfold, which means it's already been folded over once, and it creates a pocket where you can insert the product. Now what you have here is the product plate, which is where you actually set your product and put it into the shrink film. Now as you feed the film into the machine, you'll notice that the centerfold film separates right here. One half of it goes underneath the product plate, and the other half goes over it. The product plate itself can accommodate a variety of products depending on the film that you're using, and it can actually slide in and out, allowing you to get the best seal around the product that you're shrink wrapping. Now that we've gotten a little bit more familiar with the machine, I'd like to shrink up a few products. I'm going to start off with uh, a box. So just slide that into the pocket. You want to push it all the way up to the end. Now I'm going to take the product plate and slide it out to accommodate the size of the product that I'm shrink wrapping. I can now pull it, slide it into the machine. You're going to want the edges of the box to be pretty close to where the film will be cut along this L bar here. Now I'm going to bring the hood down. The magnet will lock it into place and it will cut and shrink the film. And there I have a hardware box. The film has been cut all the way around the box and has been now been shrunk. This box could now easily be placed on a shelf for retail sale. Now for any reason, the film did not shrink properly. You could actually throw it back into the machine, bring the arm back down, and it will just run that hot air over it again just to make sure that the film is shrunk down properly. Now this can also be used to shrink wrap CDs. So I'll place a CD into the box. I'll pull the product plate out just a little bit because I am shrink wrapping a smaller item. I'm going to want that CD to be all the way up to the edge at the top and on the left side here. I'll pull that down into the machine. Now I've taken the bottom plate here and I've actually lifted it up a little bit because the CD is rather thin. And that just brings this up so that I'm using less film and I'm going to get a tighter seal around the CD. So now I'm going to bring the arm down again, which will activate the machine. Pretty much everything else is automated. And I now have a CD with shrink wrap encapsulating the entire product. It is now ready for retail sale. Okay, next I'm going to shrink wrap some DVDs. Now because it is a DVD pack, it's a little thicker. And I've actually lowered the tray here down just a little bit to accommodate that. So I'm going to put the DVDs in here, slide the product table out just a little bit, drop that down into the machine. Again, try and keep it pretty close to the edges here to use as little shrink wrap as possible. Bring the hood down, and everything else is pretty much automated. Now the hood's come back up. The shrink wrap has encapsulated the entire DVD package, and this is now ready for retail sale. Okay, there isn't a lot of maintenance required with this machine, but occasionally, after being used quite a bit, the wire down here and the pads at the top can wear out, which means you'll have to replace them. It's very easy to do, but one thing you'll want to remember is that the machine needs to be unplugged for safety reasons. And while you're using the machine, this back plate here does get very hot. So as you're using the machine, you will not want to put your hand back here as you could possibly burn yourself. Now that we've gotten more familiar with the Compact 5800, you can see that it's very easy to use, very easy to set up, and for the money, it's really a great deal. So I'd highly recommend ordering your Compact 5800 today.